Welcome to episode 3 of Who is John Galt? Who is Denise Sivak? That's me. Yes, I'm here to steer the pot, wake you up, and help you become the leader you so long wanted to be. This episode's title is Pain Will Pass. Integrity will last forever. What does that mean? Well, pain really goes up to a certain point. If we're willing to feel it, we are often in pain in different ways today. There's so many things that hurt us. But the things that hurt us the most is when we do not act based on our values, based on our priorities. It hurts. It makes us guilt, feel guilty, shameful, um, resented, victim or victimized. It doesn't help. But feeling that pain, owning that pain, understanding it will help us go through it. And at some point, it will pass. How do I know pain will pass? Well, you know what? I had two near-death experiences. The first one was not painful, the second one was. The second one was this, my second um, labor when I was going to give birth to my second daughter. I was, I was going into labor and the pain was so, so strong. It was not normal pain. It was not normal labor pain, but I didn't know it at that time. It was coming every 40 seconds and I was really coming out of my body. I knew I was there. I could look at myself from the top of the room, only screaming and turning myself into a ball, expanding, doing kind of spasmic, you know, um, uh, movements with my body, groaning with my mouth. My husband was asking, like, how do you feel? I, obviously, I wasn't feeling good. He got me up and he took me to the hospital. And at that time, I knew that I was going to die if I. I didn't reach there. How do I say this with a smile? Because the pain of labor at that time felt good in the sense that it was productive, it was purposeful. And also I know that it was not the end of me or my daughter. It was not the end of what I cared for. And I could look into my body and say, I am there, I am. Beyond the pain, I am. And I went through it, and the pain passed, and my daughter is here with me today, seven years later. And what did help was staying conscious. And that is, according to me, one of my values, consciousness, awareness. And speaking up, I did ask for help. I screamed for help at that time. Right now, you are going through some kind of pain. The worst pain you can be going through is the pain of not doing what you know you should. What do you know you should because your heart tells you. That part of your heart and mind that is connected to your values, to your purpose. And here comes a great uh, wisdom that is uh, taught by Caroline Mies through her work with archetypes. We all have four basic archetypes and one of them is the one that is making you painful today. That archetype is called the prostitute. Yes, we are all prostitutes. We just need to discover how. When are we prostitutes? When we negotiate. When we negotiate our values in ex or our spiritual self or our purpose in exchange for security, because we fear losing it. But if we lose our values, we lose them forever. And that is not only painful, that is suffering. So again, pain will pass, even pain of lack of material you know, things, or, or passing out on a job that it's not really for us or letting go of a job that was really against our values or acting against our values. That is power, that is integrity, that is life. 
All other things are death. So are you willing to live in integrity, not prostituting yourself, not going down into that archetype and acknowledging when you're doing it because we all do it. You know when we do it? In my case, when I start creating a learning experience for people to evolve, to be, to flourish, thinking about what I'm going to gain from it. Thinking about, is this going to be liked? Is it not? Uh, will it make you uncomfortable too much, too long? Then it's where I lose my focus. I need to be doing my work because it's an expression of who I am, of my purpose, of my values, not because of what it will generate. Of course, I have a purpose in terms of the impact, but the important thing is the work. In the work, it is everything. In the path, in your values, in integrity, there's where you find joy, peace, meaning, and a sense of wholesomeness, of wholeness, of being one with your life and being here for a reason and being alive. So if you've been negotiating your values so as not to feel the pain, well, let me tell you, you're still feeling it and <laughs> you're suffering from it. So let go of the suffering. The pain will pass. Face it. Face your fears. Again, go back to episode one and um, episode two. Face your fears. Face your pain, go through it, and then you'll find the light. Always in integrity, always in your purpose, always in your values, and always in the work. It's not about what you get from the work, it's about the work itself. So what are you working for today? How are you negotiating with your prostitute archetype? How are you negotiating with yourself? What small victory you achieved this last week that honors who you are. Keep it up, keep it going, and it will take you to great places. Again, see you in episode four of Who is John Galt? Who is Dennis Sivak?